Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is an I Felt Like It read, which is timeless. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone to this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. So, yeah, timeless I felt like it, Read. I'm trying to get as many readings as I can out while I'm here at a spot uh, that I have <laughs> data and Wi-Fi, whatever, right? Because of the uploading of the videos, right? And a lot of the times I, you know, I go off the grid, you know, forests, um, out, you know, in areas like far away, like the beach, there's a beach uh, area around here that I like to go, but it's kind of far and you can't get any data or Wi-Fi or anything out there. So, but you know, I like that. So that's why sometimes you may see uh, big separations between readings. Uh, but since I'm here right now and I'm able to do it, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Um, we were, th I was thinking about leaving tomorrow thing is is the weather I see that the weather there's something coming in here some clouds and this area is affected by I guess can be affected by the hurricanes so those type of beach areas to go to will be closed off so we'll just have to see what happens okay so <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and get started here I'm gonna put these right here I feel like they're in the way we're going to get started here with the um, Chakra Wisdom Tarot. Looks like this. And uh, we're going to see what uh, see what we get, right? We're going to pull five cards. I've been doing the five card spreads. I kind of like the organization of that. So that's why I've been doing it like that. Um, let me see if I can get the energy of whoever's catching the video, right? Remember, you guys, just take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't manifest weird stuff into your life, okay? All right. I'm going to get a card for whoever is viewing the video. Okay. Um, all right. Queen of Swords. There you are. Intelligent. Intelligent. Um, truthful. Strong, independent woman here. This is a person who really, you know... They don't take no shit. This person may have a dog or two or three. Right? Um, why? Because the Queen of Swords uh, likes loyalty. And who else or what else gives more loyalty than a dog, right? So this is your energy. And this woman is looking, she, it's like she's looking at someone, right? I wish I could, let me see. <clears throat> she looks like she's really targeted, looking at someone. She's got her sword up, right? She's doing that because maybe she's feeling a little guarded. She's ready to hear someone out. She can be cold if you come at her wrong, though. You see those icicles in the background? Wow, this is your energy. It's either your energy or someone in your environment, okay? I'm going to pull another card. Let's do it for... Um, Let's do it for someone that you're dealing with. Because it looks like you're ready to listen to someone, but you're, you're not going to just, you know, you're not going to be like, oh, okay. No. You want answers. You're not playing around. Right? Yeah. You want to you wanna know something. You want to know. It could have to do with loyalty. You know what I'm saying? 
get a card for uh, the other person here, for whoever else is dealing with this, this Queen of Swords. Yeah. That look on her face, though, you guys. Don't fuck with her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wow. It's almost like she's smart. You cannot, you cannot pull the wool over her eyes. You know what I'm saying? You cannot. <laughs> it's almost like the other person doesn't want to come out. They're afraid. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> we got the five of pentacles in the reverse. This is the energy of the other person. Okay. Um... They feel like they are, they feel like they're doing better than they did when it was the Five of Pentacles in the upright. This is somebody who, you know, suffered a loss. But they're not suffering anymore. Why? Something happened to this person, separate from this person, where... I'm, al I'm almost getting the energy like they were feeling like a loser or something like that. But they pulled themselves out of it. Because they're not a loser. They're not. Maybe somebody told them that or whatever. And this could be male or female energy. I see a female on there. But it could be male or female. You know what? Hmm. This is a, this female could have been the one who made someone feel like they were a loser. But, they, but that person is like, no, I'm not a loser. Right? Male or female. Just like this Queen of Swords, male or female energy. Right? You got to just kind of place yourself where you feel, you know, that might be you, you know. But this person is refusing... To feel like a loser, to feel lost, or, or any type of loss, right? It could have been somebody that they were with. It could have been a spouse that they have a child with. Right? Both of these cards are blue. Right? The fifth chakra, the throat chakra. It symbolizes self-expression. Expression of the truth. Creative expression. You know? communications there's going to be a conversation between these two people the cards are both blue all right this one is kind of like a deep blue like a navy blue right <laughs> go navy um yeah this person is firm in their beliefs and what they stand for this person i feel like is also that way but, you know, the, the, the color is a little lighter. So maybe somebody is beginning to speak up for themselves now. Right? Maybe somebody dragged this person through the mud. I kind of feel a tiny bit bad for this person. But I don't feel 100% bad because, you know, I don't feel bad too, too much because I feel like this person, male or female, is waiting for this person to approach this person is waiting for this person to finally speak. They're getting ready. They're getting ready. Somebody broke somebody down really badly. And it could have been family members. It could have been a relation. It could have even just be friends. It could even be work situation where, you know, people at work were just, you're not good enough, whatever. It could be any of that. Maybe this person in the past, you know, was saying, oh, you're never going to amount to anything. Just stay where you are. They're, they'll never accept you or they'll, whatever the case, right? And it's totally possible for women to do that to men and men to do that to women. So, I mean, you know, this person, they're not having that talk anymore. Somebody has realized, you know what, they've realized their self-worth, male or female, right? What is the potential of the situation between these two? What is the potential of the situation between these two? The situation between these two, this is a past thing, right? 
this is a relationship that has ended and it was over, right? But now, with this Four of Swords right here, somebody's thinking about it. They've been through some sort of battle. And now they're kind of taking a break, like, okay, I got, I got things to think about, right? This card is green. The fourth chakra. The heart chakra. Connected with love. Relating uh, integration, compassion. Sorry. <laughs> so somebody here... Now, the person in this picture, it's a male. It's a male energy. This person is taking a break from whatever it is they were put through. And if they were put through a lot of trauma and stress or whatnot, I mean, that stuff can tire you out super bad, right? This person, this person is tired, right? They're tired of something, sick and tired, maybe. I don't know. You know, these decorations, I try to do it for you guys, but I need more space. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I try to make it look a little nicey-nice for you guys. I don't know. A lot of these stones, too, by the way, are from my travels across the United States. You know, from some lake areas and stuff. This is from Yellowstone. Mica. Isn't that cool? Okay, anyhow, let's keep going. <laughs> let's keep going. <clears throat> So, yeah, taking a break. Trying to, you know, get themselves together, really, after this ordeal. Somebody, some, somebody's, you know, if this hasn't happened, somebody's going to go through something that's just going to, it's just going to beat them up. They're going to feel like they, you know, they are so tired. You know, arguing, fighting is tiring. Being put down is tiring. Trying to prove yourself to someone is tiring. This person may have been trying to work hard also to prove something to this person, but this person was never like, they're like, uh, you, they, didn't, they never appreciated it. Never appreciated the hard work that somebody put in. This person is going through that. I feel like this person right here knows everything that's going on. She's just waiting. Because she knows that this situation cannot be avoided. So she's, she's, she's guarded. She's guarded. She or he, right? What is the obstacle in this situation? What is the obstacle in this situation? Didn't come out. What is the obstacle in this situation? There it is. The Queen of Wands. I knew it. Somebody else here. It's this, the person who put this person down, who said, oh, you're not good. This is the obstacle. This could be a parent. Right? This could be a parent. It doesn't have to be, but it could be. Somebody who basically put their your child down, saying they're not going to you know, amount to anything, you're not good enough, blah, blah, blah. Words are hurtful. Trust me. I'm the master at breaking people down with my words. But I don't do that anymore. Because I realize how much it does hurt people's feelings. Okay. That's why, you know, change my life for the better. But this person, this is a mean person. Well, she came out in the upright. She's not 100% mean. She may be showing something on the outside, but inside, there might... Look at her face. It's like, I feel like she's pissed. She's angry. Not angry, but what is that word I'm looking for? Spiteful. She's a spiteful woman. You know? She's somebody who likes to retaliate. That's what I'm feeling. Okay? 
Because this is usually, you know, a card of, a, you know, strong fire sign woman, you know. Uh, and usually it comes out reverse. She's angry. She, it didn't come out in the reverse, but I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like she's sneaky, sneaky woman. She may use her words to break this person down. Why? To break this person down. Why? Because she doesn't want this person to succeed or do well or... And I'm feeling like that she's doing that. Ugh. Why should my why should my child get this, that, and the other, and I never got it? You know, it's almost like spitefulness because this person didn't do anything with themselves, and maybe their child wants to. And, you know, God forbid their child do better in life than they did. Isn't that what we want for our children, though? We want our children to succeed and be happy. This person is not like that. Ew. <laughs> That's weird. What a weirdo. I don't know, man. She's spiteful. She's a spiteful woman. Or man, I don't, I'm kind of feeling like this is a woman, this is a man dealing with a mean, you know, spouse. They might have a child with them. But also, I feel like this person could also, in the background, be dealing with this person, which could be a relative. Somebody that they usually look up to, but this person low-key, sneaky style, maybe narcissistic style, you know, put this person down, make them feel less than. That's why this person's so tired. They're so tired, man. They're sick and tired. They're sick and tired of dealing with this. It's like a... It's like a bitch-fest sandwich. And all they really want to do is maybe go and talk to somebody over here. But, oh, hell no. <laughs> well, you know, it is what it is, right? Uh, this could be a male in a, uh, a female-dominated um, situation. Maybe there's a lot of women in the family. Maybe in this family, somebody looks as the mother as, you know, and, and that's like the mother, the, 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 the matriarch of the family usually is the one who calls the shots. And this happens, I think, uh, for, God, I don't know what, it's either Indian or Pakistani. There's one, there's one group of females that, uh, I can't remember which one it is, sorry, you guys that is usually female dominated who makes the decisions for the family it's nice and all but when it comes to putting your children down who may be a male okay so that's what it might be then somebody is used to the matriarch you know calling the shots here because it's the the main domination is women so they have to succumb to that, right? Something like that, I don't know. Possibly. <clears throat> Let's find out. Uh, okay, so we know that this person is standing is the obstacle. I can't go against what mother says or whatever, you know? Um. Let's see what the outcome is here. What is the outcome in this situation? Ooh, King of Pentacles in reverse. This person is a criminal. This person gets money by, with criminal activity. This person is corrupt. All right? 
this person has no good finances their finances are not good you know so what do they do they go out and rob steal whatever they got to do to get that money and it could be because mommy dearest may have said something to them in their whole life that they're never going to mount so they've resorted to criminal activity I got to I got to clarify. I got to see what 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 this shit is, you know? At the bottom of the deck, 5 of swords. Lies, deception, right? Look, one man, two women. I mean, I think that's a woman. It kind of looks like a woman silhouette wearing the same kind of cape. Hmm. Lies and deception here. Right? I feel like this guy does whatever these two say. Because it's the only thing they can do to make them happy. This person may be stealing, lying, hurting others, whatever to satisfy these two people because otherwise they got to hear them bitch and nag and complain all day whatever right so what what does it what, if you want that to cease you just say fine I'll go and do you know but whatever this person went, goes and does it, it, it turn them into this person a corrupt individual I don't take sides, men and women. Women are just as evil as men. Equally as evil. I was guided to use this deck. This is the Majestic deck. Bicycle Majestic looks like this with some, you know, tape on it. Because i got to try to keep the cards in the best condition I can being on the road, right? I've learned so much on the road. Let's go ahead and find out what this, uh, what's going on with these, uh, the situation here. Queen of Swords. Tell us about the Queen of Swords a little bit. A little bit about the Queen of Swords. Yep, she's waiting to have that conversation. This is a Two of Swords. This card also. Uh, is a representative of having a debate, a heated debate, talking, communication about something. There's a lot of passion involved. It could be passion or anger. It's in the upright, so maybe passion. And I'm not pa talking about passion like sex and hooking it up. No, I'm talking about being passionate about something. Passion as in Let's talk this through. I'm passionate to get over this, whatever this is, right? I want to hear, you know? That's what that means. Because this person can't figure out what the hell is going on. That's why they're guarded and defensive. They can't figure out what's going on. We got the Nine of Swords right here. This person is in their head like, what the, what the hell is going on? That's why they want to have this, this conversation. But I'm, I'm telling you, low-key, this person doesn't know about all this shit going on right here with these two people, with, you know, I don't think they know. All they know is that, that you know, this person was not very good to them. That's the only part that they know. They don't know that what this person's actually going through. I don't think. Because if they did, you know what, she, they might, she might, she might, I'm sorry, she might. She might. She might already know. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Why is this person's energy like that? Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Oh, let's see what this is. Seven of Swords in the reverse. Right? This person doesn't... They don't feel like they're a loser. They know they're not a loser. Right? This person maybe realizes also that they've been deceptive in the past and they don't want to do it anymore. They don't want to be deceptive and they don't want anybody to be deceptive to them. Oh 
One more card for that five of coins, five of pentacles in the reverse, please. Ace of Wands. This person has passion for someone, right? They got some passion. They want to start something new, something passionate, because right here, it's just, it's, it's such a mess. It's like this person can't win with these people, right? It could be even their family members. They just, they feel like they can't win. So they have to succumb to whatever they say. Because family's everything. No, it's not. Families can be so toxic. Super toxic. Your own children can be toxic. You know? I'm, I'm serious. Four of Swords. And, and you know, it's, it's not even that... Because we, you know, usually... Oh, it's the parent's fault that the child is that way. Yes. Yes. This is true. But there's also other people that can enter this person's life as a child that can kind of fuck them up too. Something that the parents don't catch. Right? Four swords. Why is that four swords there? Who needs to take a break or what kind of break is going on here? Who's trying to recuperate? Yeah! This person... I don't know what that is. This person is resting after being deceived. Right? Somebody fucked this guy over real bad. Somebody really, yeah, they did a number on this guy. Yup. But we got the, this is the three of swords in the reverse though, okay? So, this person, whoever backstabbed them, they're not heartbroken of over this situation. No. Because once this happened, this person's like, oh, hell no. Maybe somebody did something to try and break this person's heart and they're like, nope. Not after you did that. Yeah. Something like that. I, I don't know. Everybody's story's different. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. Don't manifest weird stuff into your life. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. Why is this Queen of Wands an obstacle here? Oh, I told you guys. I'm sorry. I got too excited. Sorry. <laughs> I told you guys. There's that King of Pentacles in the reverse. This Queen of Wands did something to this person. Now, either they did something to traumatize this person, to make this per. This guy doesn't look happy here either. Oh, look at him. He looks, he does, he's just like, meh. But he's looking back. He's looking back at someone. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is dealing with somebody with fire in their chart. This person has been deceived by this person. And, you know, not really deceived, deceived like, uh, I mean deceived as in family member of the year, mother of the year, whoever. This person made this person who he is. I'm also hearing that this person could even be telling this person, why can't you be more like your brother? Why can't you, you know what I'm saying? That's fucked up. But look. This King of Pentacles. It's almost like he's, it's almost like he doesn't want to listen. He Doesn't he look like he's maybe ignoring now, ignoring this person? Kind of. Maybe this person nags a lot, bitch and nag, you know? This right here, Eight of Pentacles, I think this person is like, you know what, I already know. 
And this person, remember we saw the Ten of Swords right here? That's where the, the Ten of Swords would be right directly across from this. This person knows that this person has deceived them. Backstabbed them. Treated like dirt. They're only nice when they want something. Or when they want them to do something. When they want them to commit some crime or something. This person may have also went to jail or prison because of this person. But they're going to work on themselves now. They might be doing it secretly. But they're going to work on themselves, their own craft. They might be doing it secretly. I didn't mention, you guys, this card is purple. The sixth chakra, third eye chakra, it evokes intuition and extrasensory perception, inner wisdom. This person does know something. Maybe this person realized that they're, the reason they're the way they are is because they're a product of, a, of their environment and who's in their environment trying to lead them or who's supposed to lead them in the proper path, this one. The mother of the year, or whoever, you know, this uh, matriarch is. It doesn't have to be, you guys, but I'm, I'm, that's what I'm getting. Tell us about that king of pentacles. Tell us about that king of pentacles. Yeah, this person feels burdened. They're carrying the weight of the world on their shoulders. They're just... They hate, this person hates his life, <laughs> basically, I'm feeling. Right? We also have the Queen of Cups here. This person could also be burdened because of this person. In this deck, you guys, in this deck, this is the Empress. They could be dealing with somebody who's got water in their chart, or even... Libra and Taurus in their chart because this is the Empress card. So either this person is burdened by a Libra or a Taurus. Maybe they have water in their chart, something. This person feels burdened. And that's why this person may be, you know, resorting to trying to open their third eye. Yeah, you guys. Yeah. Maybe they've been guided to do that. Hmm. Well, you know. If it resonated with you guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Also, keep it true love energy. Happy, friendly, loving types. We have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful. Someone's going to receive a message of stability. I'm Mona, this is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.